First time since the pandemic started, USF students, all students now back on campus for in-person learning. But with COVID-19 cases still surging in the Tampa Bay area, it's not quite school as usual. ABC Action News reporter Eric Waxler today taking a closer look at how college students are dealing with their return to campus and what new protocols are in place to keep everyone safe. Gabriela Caveda is starting her second year at USF, but this is the first time she's ever been able to take classes in person. I'm very nervous, but I'm excited. I hope that things get better and that things get more back to normal. I'm excited to meet classmates and finally have an, a social college experience. USF is not mandating vaccinations or masks for students, but they are strongly encouraging both. And students we talked to today say just about everyone in the classroom is wearing a mask. I don't want to get sick or anyone wants to get sick. So as long as I'm able to go to school and not miss a day because of COVID or any other thing, any type of sickness, then I'll be happy. I choose to wear it because I want to be safe and I live with roommates. So, you know, I don't want to bring anything home that could potentially like infect anyone else. USF and other colleges say they are monitoring the pandemic daily and will make changes to protocols if needed. USF is offering free vaccinations at all three of its campuses. Students can make an appointment or they can just walk in. We really want everyone to take advantage of the vaccine that's available. It is protective against infection and more importantly, it is protective against severe illness. But not everyone is following recommendations. Nathan Peace tells me he's not planning on wearing a mask. The mask make my face all sweaty. So that makes me a little unhappy, and that's just my reasoning. I know there's a whole bunch more that goes into it. He also has yet to be vaccinated. My grandma really wants me to get vaccinated. Just haven't gotten around to it. If it stops me from traveling, I really want to travel, I'll get it. The USF officials say for those who do test positive for COVID, they have beds available on campus where students can isolate. The school also helped find temporary housing for those who need to quarantine after exposure to the virus. Some classes have a way for students to link in if they are quarantined through formats like Teams. Right now, uh, we're feeling pretty confident that students are going to exhibit that same bull spirit that they always do and, and be part of the collective solution to this problem, which is to get vaccinated, to wear face coverings, and to just, just be smart. There are free masks available on campus and free testing. It may not be a completely normal beginning to the fall semester, but it's closer than it has been in many months. My hope for the weeks to come is that everyone stays safe. We have a good semester and get things rolling again. I really want to get back to campus and join clubs and have a good college experience. At USF, Eric Waxler, ABC Action News. I confer upon each of you the baccalaureate degree. Please move your tassels to the left. <laughs> well, what a good moment there as current students were returning to campus this weekend. Thousands of USF grads were honored during a summer commencement. This graduation ceremony was even more special as it included those who graduated from the classes of 2020 or spring of 2021, whose commitment, commi commencement ceremonies were impacted by COVID-19. Uh, those students had a virtual ceremony at the time, but they were invited to this one at the Engling Center for a more traditional commencement. So a long time coming.